My name is Scott Davidson and I'm a member of the Tulane Birkenrode student analyst team covering East Group properties for the spring 2013 semester. My team is comprised of Caroline Edmondson, Alex Harari, Jacob Kriegsfield, and Fiona Long. East Group Properties trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker EGP. Our team gave East Group a market perform rating with a 12-month target price of $60. Today, Jake and I will discuss how our team came to that price, including an overview of our valuation methods and our investment thesis. We will also give an overview of our company and industry, including an analysis of East Group's peers. Lastly, we will discuss some of the risks facing East Group. As of April 3rd, East Group stock was trading at $58.55, a 22% increase from five years ago, a 32% increase from two years ago, and a 15% increase over the past year. So now I'm going to discuss the different valuation methods we used to come up with our target price of $60. The first thing that's interesting to note is how small the range is between our various target prices. Even between the highest and the lowest target price, it's still a range within 10%. The first method we use to calculate our estimated target price is the dividend discount model. This model discounts future dividend payments from East Group at a weighted average cost of capital, which we calculated to be 7%. We then added a terminal dividend growth rate of 3%, which gave us a target price of 65.82. Next, we looked at relative multiple methods, which compares East Group's current assets to the value ascribed to its peers in the market currently. Within this, um, series of valuation metrics. We use price to funds from operation, which is essentially a price to earnings ratio. However, because of the payout structure of REITs, it uses operating income and adds back the heavy depreciation that they have. This resulted in a target price of 59.75, which we ended up weighting 100% in our research report because of its objectivity and transparent assumptions. We then moved on to price to ca uh, cash flow from operations which values the cash flow from operations that East Group generates at the multiple the market is describing to its peers. This gave us a target price of 63.74. Finally, we calculated net asset value. This process values the portfolio of properties owned by East Group at a capitalization rate in terms of what cash flows they can expect to extract in the future and then subtracts out their other assets and debt. We used a cap rate of 5.25%, which we felt was conservative and resulted in a target forecast price of 53.54. Overall, the qualitative factors that drove our valuations can be summed up in four key points. First, as the U.S. economic recovery strengthens or at least maintains its continued pace, businesses will look to expand and there will be an increase in business startups, both of which equate to increased demand in industrial real estate. Secondly, East Group Properties' conservative financing and growth strategies provide consistency, but do limit top-line growth potential. Third, East Group's occupancy levels are at their highest levels since before the real estate market collapsed and should continue to grow, especially in the California and Texas markets. Lastly, East Group has positioned itself with a strong construction pipeline and with a healthy balance sheet to pursue further acquisitions. East Group is a real estate investment trust based in Jackson, Mississippi that operates in the niche market of industrial real estate. East Group leases to an average of four tenants per property at 20,000 average square feet per tenant. Although leasing to a singular tenant can provide predictability of cash flows and long-term stability, this stability comes with the risk of releasing the space when a current term expires. Service centers are on the other end of the square foot spectrum with high office build-out costs and are typically the smallest of industrial properties. East Group's segment, business distribution centers, falls within the other two classifications. This allows for flexible usage and low build-out and tenant turnover costs. East Group is focused on the Sunbelt region of the United States. Texas makes up 33% of its operations, with Houston being the largest city at 17%. Florida makes up 30% of the operations. California makes up 14.1%, and those three markets, along with Arizona and North Carolina, total 93.5% of all of East Group's properties. The majority of development for East Group is coming in Houston, Texas. East Group operates in the highly competitive niche market of industrial equity real estate investment trusts. A real estate investment trust is a tax-exempt entity that is subject to certain legal restrictions. The two main requirements is that the company must distribute at least 90% of its taxable income to shareholders annually, 
and the second is that it must derive at least 75% of its gross income from real estate income or interest on mortgages financing real estate property. There are three main growth drivers for real estate investment trusts. The first is acquisition of new properties. The second is development of new properties in land where the company already has a presence. And the last is asset turnover, which is the recycling of assets to raise new capital. There are four key differentiators when looking to invest in a real estate investment trust. The first is the size of the properties that the company operates within. The second is the location of these properties. This is the segment that East Group tries to differentiate itself on. The third is rental pricing, and the fourth is occupancy rate, which shows how effective the sales team is at retaining current tenants and attracting new ones. The outlook for industrial real estate seems to be getting better alongside improving macroeconomic conditions. Unemployment has decreased from 8.5% in January 2012 down to 7.8% in January of 2013. In addition, consumer spending and sentiment has increased over the past year. Demand has been rising due to the Panama Canal expansion and e-commerce increasing the demand for distribution warehouses. Supply has been steady and development is at historically low levels. Commercial mortgage originations were up 15% third quarter of 2012 from third, the third quarter of 2011. Recently, East Group's focus has been on developing properties for their portfolio. In 2012, the company invested $54.8 million into developmental properties. In addition to these properties, East Group also acquired a 722,000 square foot portfolio in Dallas and also a 72,000 square foot distribution center in Tampa. In the future, management plans to spend roughly $30 million on acquisitions, mainly coming in the second half of 2013. The following table compares East Group to its peers on a variety of metrics. Of particular interest to note is East Group's funds from operations per share, at, which at 2.96 is substantially higher than both the peer group average and any other individual competitors. What's also important to realize is that the debt to equity ratio shown on this table is based on book value, not market value of equity. East Group management aims to keep debt at 35% of the market value of equity and has been able to achieve this historically. Also, the company has a long track record of their dividend, both in maintaining it and increasing it, and targets a payout ratio of 68%. From a risk standpoint, East Group faces operational risks, real estate regulation risks, and financial risks. While East Group has insurance to cover its business operations in the Sunbelt region, it is still exposed to weather abnormalities and natural disasters. Also, East Group is, is very sensitive to changes in the business cycle since its demand is driven by macroeconomic conditions. In terms of real estate regulation risks, East Group faces zoning and land use changes, changes in consumer demand for lead properties, as well as legislative changes in REIT requirements. From a financial standpoint, any changes in interest rates will affect East Group's access to capital and its current expenses since it locks up its capital for such long periods of time in illiquid assets in terms of real estate. Also, if there's an economic downturn as a real estate investment trust and trying to with East Group trying to maintain its current 35% debt to equity ratio, there's a possibility for further share dilution from a shareholder perspective in the future. For myself and the rest of my East Group analyst teammates, thank you for watching our video and we hope you enjoyed it.